Shakespeare's birthday. Shakespeare is still popular today. All of his stories are so universal. He really knows how to put himself into someone else's situation and say, what would it feel like to be that person? Actors love Shakespeare because the stories are age old. It's lust, power, greed, love, hate. And it doesn't matter what ethnic background you come from, you relate to his language and his brilliant insight into human personality. There's a quality in Shakespeare's ear for language that makes the verse itself and the prose very complex and exciting. You know, Romeo doesn't just say, oh look, there's Juliet up in the window. He says, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? And it, it just opens up sort of more emotions. It's lost. It's gone. Speak! It's out of the way. Say you. You can't sit in a theater for two hours experiencing that language and not have your own ability to think and conceptualize and use language altered. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find it where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail. It's in his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tales. Many so people are intimidated by Shakespeare's language, and if you feel intimidated, join the club. Everybody feels intimidated 400 years later trying to understand this particular writer who could do pirouettes on pirouettes. He really could um, do a tightrope act on our language. He was working very hard to, to put together an evening's entertainment, to tell a story, to create characters that were compelling and entertaining. Oh, it's amazing to be performing Shakespeare at the Folger. I mean, uh, you're, you are down the hall from the first folio, which is on exhibit. And, you know, the theater itself being this beautiful model of an Elizabethan theater is so much fun to perform in. And it's not easy. It takes rehearsal and research and all that stuff. But when we get it and we can convey it, it's a beautiful thing for us. And it ultimately is a beautiful thing for the audience to hear. And that's why Shakespeare endures. The Folger is an incredibly vital cultural institution in Washington. There's so much to see here and to experience here. And the Folger is unique in giving audiences, scholars, students, anybody who wants to walk by and come see an exhibit, Anyone in the world can come here and see all of this in one place. And like Shakespeare's works, the Folger is a place you can return to over and over again and discover something new. Out, damned spot. Out, I say. <laughs> I love being in this theater and thinking about the physical constraint of a Tudor space and how that shapes the art that happens here and that I read on the page. And as a scholar, I've loved the, the reading room. It's elegant, it's gracious, it's quiet. When you're in our collection, it is almost as if you are a person 400 years ago who had access to the same thing Shakespeare did. You're able to be there in a way that is not just being a spectator, you can participate because you can read all of that material too. The Folger allows people to not only revere Shakespeare, but to really get in there and really work with Shakespeare, push up against the language, try things, experiment. It's an amazing place. The riches are just abundant. It's so rewarding to watch them to being on that stage and just being so excited to have done it.
it's like a seed that blossoms and suddenly you see these very shy kids speaking these words and it's changing them. Their language, their lives will never be the same after they've had this experience. Part of the mission, maybe it's the most important part of our mission at the Folger, is to take the treasures that we have here, bring in the light, and to let people see them. You can return to this material over and over again throughout your life and find something different in it. Yeah, the Folger is a bit like a play. It has many characters and it speaks to different people. I think it's had a huge impact on the idea that Shakespeare is for everyone. This is a feast where everybody's invited to the table.